I had one listed for 65, one listed for 75. Somebody offered me a hundred bucks and I just couldn't resist it. I took it. Hey, fellow buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about items I sold on Poshmark for a profit. Now, I am not just a clothing seller. I really don't even like to sell clothing anymore. I am more of a hard goods seller. So most of the sales that you're going to see right now that I sold on Poshmark are probably a little unexpected if you sell clothing only. So check out some of the cool items I sold on, uh, <laughs> on Poshmark for a profit. Poshmark for a profit. That's what we'll call this video. All right, here we go. Here's the first one. It is a stuffed animal. Yes, I said stuffed animal. You can sell stuffed animals on Poshmark. If you're not doing it, you should be because they sell. This little guy sold for $18 and on Poshmark, the buyer pays shipping. The next item are these stunning dangle drop earrings. Guys, no brand, nothing special here. What's great about Poshmark is you share your closet and people see your item. These sold for $22. No brand, guys. Just a good picture. All right. Let's go to the next one. This here is a Spanx dress kini. I ended up taking an offer of $20 on this. Um, I bought a bunch of these a while back, a long time ago, actually. And I bought a bunch in different sizes. Some of them sold really quickly for a really big profit. Others, I'm still kind of slowly selling. This was one of the slowly selling. So I took the $20 offer. Now, Spanx is a great brand to pick up. I picked these up at, I believe it was Gabriel Brothers when they were having, it's a discount store and they're not everywhere. But if you're in Ohio, I think Pennsylvania, West Virginia, there are certain states. It's called Gabe's now. Definitely look it up if you're a clothing reseller. A lot has changed since I used to buy there to flip things, but you may still be able to grab some deals. But anyway, I probably paid $12-ish, I think, for this, maybe $15, but I do think I got some of them for five. So let's say we averaged out at about $7. Sold over 20, my earnings was 16. And here is the actual dress kini, and it does not have a bottom in it. It's just a dress kini. I had it listed at 38 and took the $20 offer because you know what? I just wanted it to go. The next item is this cute little bashful jelly cat chocolate brown bunny rabbit. It's only seven inches big and it sold for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. Stuffed animals, you can pick them up anywhere. Thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. Plush is everywhere and you can usually get it for a dollar or less. It's pretty cheap. But um, some of it can go for crazy money. If you type in Bolo Buddies plush or stuffed animals into the YouTube algorithm or YouTube search bar, it will pull it up in the algorithm, Bolo Buddies plush. And you're going to see some crazy plush sales because I've done a lot of videos on plush that sell for big money. The Golden Girls. I don't know if you guys remember this one. I believe I picked this up in one of my Goodwill Benz challenges. And I sold this for $25 on Poshmark. So all of these items were cross-posted. I used List Perfectly for that. And they were on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So the items you're seeing here sold faster on Poshmark. Now, there are some things that I'm changing up. I'm completely starting over. I'm getting all of my listings into List Perfectly. I upgraded to the Pro plan and opted into the Pro Plus plan which is the Pro Plus plan is free until the end of the year. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, I've got the starting over video and the listing assistant uh, option feature. We'll call it a feature that just came out that is absolutely incredible. There's a tutorial down below, but I'm starting over. So if you want to see what I'm doing to kind of freshen everything up, oh my goodness, it's going to take some time, but I am committed to working on making these changes to better my platform. So check out those two videos. I'll link them down in the description. Um, if you decide you want to try List Perfectly, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. That'll get you 30% off your first month. There's also a referral link down below as well. Also, if you want to upgrade to the pro plan, uh, you can use my coupon referral code to get 30% off any plan that you've never been on before. So you can use it to join 
or to upgrade to a plan you've never been on. So take advantage of that. Get that 30% off. Those links and more information are down below. Check out the starting over video. If anybody is going to do it with me, let me know. Come back and tell me and let me know on your how your progress is going and all of that. But I really think that this is going to overall just better my business in so many ways. All right, let's keep going here. This is a Play School Mr. Potato Head mixed lot, not complete. I picked this up at the Goodwill Benz, probably had a buck or two in it, sold it for $15. Not a huge bolo, but these are just items that people want. They're missing the parts or they want to add parts to their Mr. Potato Head. I mean, come on, I couldn't leave this at the Goodwill Benz. Elephant and Piggy, this flew out of my store, okay? I, it took less than a month to sell. These go um, to a book and they are by Kohl's Cares. They had the original tags. I got these at a garage sale for a dollar each. And I put them together because I figured there's going to be less that have both. And that kind of would uh, get the person who's looking for both and only wants to pay shipping once. And it worked. It sold super quick. So Kohl's Cares, uh, Elephant and Piggy. Now Kohl's Cares as a brand. It's usually pretty long tail, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty long tail. But since I did, um, I've started listing into list perfectly instead of listing to eBay and then cross posting like I've always done. This is one of the items I listed it into list perfectly first and it sold really fast. So I'm really excited about that. 30 bucks on those and the buyer paid shipping. The next one is this uh, Duplo Lego building blocks. So these are a bunch of Legos. I picked these up, I believe, at the Goodwill bins. I may have got them at random other places here and there, but pretty sure most of them came from the bins. I like to dig these out. If they have the minifigures, that's definitely going to increase the value. I had one listed for 65, one listed for 75. Somebody offered me 100 bucks, and I just couldn't resist it. I took it. So Poshmark took their 20. I got $80 for these Duplo Legos. If you don't know what a Duplo Lego it Lego is, it's not the little blocks, it's the bigger blocks. The next item is this vintage Fisher Price Little People Jetliner Women. It's two Fisher Price Little People. These are vintage. Sold these for $20 and the buyer paid shipping and if I remember correctly, I got these at a garage sale in a bulk lot. These are J brand jeans and let me tell you these have probably been listed mm, 10 to 12 years. This is back before photo room, before I used to, uh, before I did the white out background. All right. And if you're on list perfectly, you can use the white out. It whites out your background as part of one of the features. Anyway, check out the listing assistant. You'll see all of that there. But yeah, so this is really, really old. That's how you know the listing was old. But hey, I still sold it. Probably paid $3 for these, sold them for $22. List it and forget it. That's my thing. However, I am doing a total refresh and you'll see that in the starting over. All right. These are also super, super old. I bought a bunch of these in bulk from a bridal shop online. It was a retail arbitrage thing. And I sold a bunch in the beginning. They did really well, but some of them are just hanging out way too long and I am ready to see them go. I sold these for $20 and I was super happy. Uh, didn't make a huge profit on these, probably 10 bucks. But uh, like I said, glad to see them go. This one here, Express Pants, it's another one. Old, old listing. Now, the difference between this one and the other one, the other one was just a single item. This was probably multi quantity. And if you go into any of my stores, you're going to see a lot of Express Pants because I bought these in bulk. These are the dress pants. And they're kind of like the thicker, wider waistband. And I used to love to wear these back in the day. So I think these are super cool. And maybe you're looking for them. If you're looking for them, I have them. I don't know if I have your size, but I have them. What I also noticed is bigger sizes sell faster. And I had more quantity of the smaller sizes. So I have a bunch. These are also long I want to say I took an offer of 20 or maybe even 15 on these and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage, the heritage collection wrinkles the dog. Oh, and the express pants averaged out about $3 a piece is what I paid for those. This guy came from a garage sale and I want to say I paid about five bucks for him, sold him for 20 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item is this school year's photo memory keeper. Oh, I can't remember if I got this at a thrift store or the bins. I want to say I paid around a dollar for it. But this is uh, kindergarten through 12th grade, and it's kind of like a little scrapbook deal. Super cute item. This flew out of my store. La la boo. I don't know. It's a shirt for a man to hold his baby. So it's got a built in baby carrier into the man shirt. How cool is that? Um, got that at the Goodwill bins. A uh, couple bucks maybe. Sold it for $37 and the buyer paid shipping. And I just had a feeling this was going to sell well on Poshmark. The next item is this jelly cat, bashful spot, puppy plush dog. Uh, this came from wholesale. I bought a lot from wholesale and they did end up uh, going out of business, but uh, it was a really, really uh, great idea. Just, I think it came along a little bit too late because there's so many other things going on, but it was a way to buy wholesale. And I probably had two bucks, maybe three in this, and I sold it for 16 plus shipping. This is a Catherine shoes. I got these on the uh, Catherine's website. It was a retail arbitrage thing. Probably bought 50 plus pair of these around $5. You guys, you can look for sales. You can look for coupons. Retail arbitrage online. It's tough, but you can find some good deals. Like I said, I probably bought at least 50 of these. Two different styles, all sizes. The other style did much better. Uh, this size... This style not doing as well, but I've still, I've made my money back over and over and over again. Plus I still have a lot left. So it was a good buy, just kind of long tail now. Sold these for $27. This is a, um, I had multiple sizes in this and these are wide. So they're a wide shoe. The next one is this Jellycat Brown Bashful Monkey. If I remember correctly, I got this one from the Goodwill Bins. Sold it for $46 plus shipping. These are another from the bridal shop. They are wedge sandals. And I have sold these over and over and over again. Probably bought 60 or 70 pair of these. Tons. And I do have a lot left, but I have sold a lot. These sold for uh, $31 in the buyer paid shipping. I don't think I took an offer on those. I may have. The next one. Oh my goodness. I probably had this 15 years. It finally sold. It sold for $18. I probably paid between three and seven for these. This was. Um, TJ Maxx yellow tag sale. I uh, used to do a lot of yellow tag and I would get a lot of the bikinis and swimsuits. But what I found with swimsuits is they're kind of hard to sell. So, and they're a pain to put on the mannequin, just a pain. But anyway, I did make a profit. Took a long time, but made a profit. These are express blazers. These all ca also came from discount fashion warehouse along with the express pants, a lot of express items. I don't know if they still carry a lot of express or not, but um, I paid $5 for these with an average of three. So I would take everything on my bill and divide it out by the number of items. And it was usually an average of $3, but I would pay up for the blazers uh, and the suit jackets because they had a pretty high retail. And again, in the beginning, the sizes that were the most popular sold the quickest and for the most money. Somebody came in and offered me $90 for the pair. And I went ahead and took that. Poshmark took 18. I got 72. So let's say I had $10 in it at $62 profit. So pretty good um, margins there on that. And the, the blazers, suit jackets, they, they do well on Posh. The next item, Elaine Bryant jeans, also a discount fashion warehouse pickup. I bought probably 20, 30, maybe even 40 pairs of these. A lot of them have already sold. I believe I took a best offer of 25 on these. I know I took an offer. I can't remember what. But uh, definitely have sold a lot of these. These are a crop style and they are plus size. Lane Bryant's a great brand to pick up. A lot of people, um, I don't know, would you call it a mall brand? Uh, a lot of people wear Lane Bryant. So it's a great, great, um, I like it. I like that brand to sell. Let me know what you guys think. Are you a Lane Bryant? Do you like selling Lane Bryant or do you not? Um, also in the description, there's a referral link. If you're not on Poshmark and you would like to get on Poshmark, uh, you can use my referral link and get $10 to shop. And if you buy something, then I get $10 to shop. So thank you when you guys use my referrals, my affiliates, all those things down below. I appreciate it very much. Those are all things I use for my business. Definitely check out the starting over video and the listing assistant. Oh my goodness. It's just gonna, 
it's going to change things for you if you decide to do it. So let me know what you think about those videos. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're a clothing reseller, did you know that you could sell all of these crazy items on Poshmark? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And before I start recording another video, I am going to leave you with, I am also selling on whatnot. And I always tell you this almost every video because I want you guys to come hang out. It's so fun. Bring your coffee and watch me dig through jewelry and you can chat with everyone. It's kind of like a live show. Even if you're not in the market to buy jewelry, it's fun to hang out. So I hope to see you guys. There is a referral link for that also. You can get $15 to shop with that. Um, uh, $15 to shop. You don't have to use that with me. You can use it with anyone. Mostly I do jewelry, sometimes toys, sometimes Christmas, sometimes clothing, <laughs> crafts. Um, I have dabbled in other things, but jewelry is my favorite. So I hope to see you guys and thanks for watching.